What if our solitude extends beyond just the absence of extraterrestrial life? What if there are indications of another colossal cosmic event occurring at the fringes of our known universe? The most recent imagery captured by the James Webb Space Telescope has ignited curiosity within the scientific community, prompting them to question our established comprehension of cosmology. Could we be standing at the threshold of one of the most significant revelations in human history? The existence of a parallel universe? Could gravity hold the key to unraveling this enigma? Following the revelation of these startling discoveries, scientists have embarked on a quest to find innovative methods to reconcile these findings with the existing principles of physics and natural science. During this pursuit, they have unearthed a force that was previously regarded as unremarkable but now presents a potential solution. At the core of the universe's evolution lies the omnipotent force of gravity, propelling the expansion and development of the cosmos. Welcome to Spaceverse, where the wonders of the cosmos come to life. Join us on an extraordinary journey through the universe, from the mysteries of black holes to the awe-inspiring beauty of distant galaxies. Subscribe now and unlock the secrets of space with us. Gravity represents one of the four fundamental forces known in the realm of space. It is an integral component of Albert Einstein's widely accepted general relativity theory, elucidating not only the universe's expansive nature, but also the genesis of colossal celestial structures. Without the influence of gravity, our universe would bear little resemblance to its current state. Nonetheless, other forces also contribute to the tapestry of our daily observations and experiences. Those aspects which remain beyond the grasp of conventional forces have been methodically stitched together through the meticulous scrutiny and interpretation undertaken by cosmologists. This comprehensive portrayal of the universe encompasses diverse forms of energy and matter, including enigmatic entities like dark energy, dark matter, traditional matter, neutrinos and photons. The conundrum lies in our limited understanding of dark energy and matter, which remain as computational postulations absorbable to a certain extent, but their actual existence remains unproven. We are currently uncertain about the exact point where errors might have occurred in the previous standard model of the Big Bang, as well as the formation of stars and galaxies. Nevertheless, if we adopt the prior explanation, our cosmos appears to have its origins approximately 13.8 billion years ago in an event known as the Big Bang. This event, which occurred in mere fractions of a second, transformed almost nothing into a potent force. According to these models, the universe we observe today primarily results from pre-existing irregularities in density that were present during the early moments of the universe. The subsequent expansion of the universe caused this fundamental pattern to disperse. When we trace back the origins of all the structures in the universe to this initial moment, we realize that the shapes and phenomena we currently observe spanning over 90 billion light years were already inherent in this foundational pattern. Despite a wealth of observational evidence that supports this model, doubts have emerged concerning these explanations. The galaxies identified by the James Webb Space Telescope do not conform to the model's predictions. These very structures, which we would expect to trace back to the universe's earliest years, appear to be absent. Instead, it seems as if the universe, particularly at the edge where matter and stars first form operates according to entirely different principles than what we previously understood in physics. It sucked into following a well-established path, confident in its accuracy, only to encounter an unexpected divergence not depicted on any known map. Moreover, the entire environment undergoes a sudden transformation, creating a world that is on one hand familiar, but on the other so altered that it defies our usual parameters of perception. The early stages of our universe. A journey back to the Dark Age following the Big Bang. During this period, which lasted for hundreds of thousands of years, it's likely that there was no light and darkness prevailed. Gradually the first matter and gases began to form, vibrating, compressing, and becoming charged in a way that, thanks to the force of gravity, gave birth to radiant stars. Theories of cosmic inflation, and patterns of fluctuations in cosmic background microwave radiation have provided compelling evidence of remarkable uniformity at the universe's outset. The specific conditions that set in motion the forces leading to the birth of the first stars, planets, moons, galaxies, and black holes are astonishingly intricate. It took several decades to unravel the mysteries of the universe's earliest moments and to synthesize all observations and established data into a coherent equation. This formulation, of course, 
represents the well-known Big Bang Theory, which is why astronomers, cosmologists, and physicists take great pride in its discovery and the resulting explanation. Unexpectedly, we encounter galaxies that challenge this model. Approximately 200, 300 or even 400 million years after the Big Bang, galaxies suddenly appeared in such a pristine state that it raises several possibilities. Either the universe is considerably older than previously assumed, the laws of physics at that time differed substantially from the present, or there may not have been a single, singular beginning at all. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is revolutionizing our understanding. With its superior capabilities, we can now observe galaxies from the earliest stages of our cosmic history. Before the JWST, our knowledge indicated that a galaxy was roughly 13.4 billion years old, implying its existence 400 million years post Big Bang. This alignment was consistent with the standard model. However, even this discovery initially credited to the Hubble Space Telescope posed new questions. Galaxies don't simply materialize out of nothing. It takes millions or billions of years for them to form. The precise process of how the first galaxies came into being remained elusive. Did individual stars coalesce due to gravitational forces, or were these stars already in existence within a structure that later evolved into a galaxy? These enigmas remained unresolved until the advent of the JWST, as earlier epochs lacked the visibility of stellar or galactic dimensions. Scientists had relied primarily on cosmic background radiation, which is believed to be a relic of the Big Bang, forming a kind of cosmic map tracing back to the universe's origin. However, thanks to the capabilities of the JWST, we can now perceive light signals from that early epoch, primarily in the form of galaxies. The JWST has recently detected over 100 potential galaxies that existed during the first 400 million years of the universe's existence. These occurrences are referred to as galaxy candidates because for many of them, it remains uncertain whether the observed light genuinely emanates from galaxies. In the meantime, leading terrestrial telescopes have been enlisted to verify the findings of the James Webb Space Telescope, yielding initial outcomes. The emitted light from some of these phenomena undeniably originates from galaxies that existed 13.4 to 13.6 billion years ago. GNZ11 has already been authenticated with 11 denoting the redshift, quantified as Z11, corresponding to an age of 13.6 billion years. Since researchers have already identified candidates with values as high as 20Z, it is reasonable to anticipate that within the next 12 months, not only will the existing cosmic distance record be shattered, but long-established theories will be set aside. Currently, the very ancient galaxies with an assumed 20Z have not yet received confirmation. A perplexing galaxy also exhibited an exceptionally high Z value, implying an age of 13.6 billion years or more. However, upon a secondary assessment, only a 4.9 Z value emerged. Scientists playfully liken this galaxy to existing in two places and two different temporal dimensions simultaneously, a notion reminiscent of Schrodinger's cat, a concept from quantum theory where the cat is paradoxically both alive and deceased. Quanta, too, are recognized to occupy multiple positions and temporal states concurrently. Nonetheless, the applicability of this principle to entire galaxies remains a matter of doubt. Furthermore, the likelihood of errors in measurements or data interpretation should not be dismissed. It is plausible that discrepancies exist in prior assumptions regarding redshift. However, the precise nature of what is accurate or erroneous remains a considerable enigma. As we push the boundaries of our understanding in the realm of physics, a significant number of these early galaxies, as revealed by the JWST, exhibit unusual and perplexing characteristics suck into the enigmatic Schrodinger galaxy. However, these peculiarities are firmly rooted in familiar principles of the past. In the case of these galaxies, the mystery lies not in their mere presence or absence, but rather in their excessive mass, intense luminosity, and high abundance of heavy elements. These attributes challenge their classification as galaxies from the universe's earliest moments. The profusion of early galaxies introduces another enigma. Numerous galaxies, teeming with stars have emerged in the images. Until now, we held the belief that these fledgling galaxies were drying in gas, with star formation producing feedback effects that restricted further gas entry in the future. Nevertheless, there exists a limit to how swiftly these galaxies can attract gas and dust, although this limit can occasionally be transiently surpassed under specific conditions. 
it should not be the permanent norm. Put simply, the JWST findings suggest that galaxies in the early universe may have grown at a pace and scale beyond initial expectations, or the universe itself, 13.6 billion years ago, might not have been as youthful as previously presumed. These novel inquiries arising from the observations of the James Webb Space Telescope are currently perplexing scientists. Ideally, a more extensive exploration into the past would be beneficial. The discovery of galaxies older than 13.8 billion years could potentially reshape our understanding of cosmology. However, we have not yet reached that juncture. It remains plausible that the James Webb Space Telescope may still probe deeper into the cosmos. Presently, teams of researchers are actively devising new calibration methods for the telescope, with the hope of extracting a few million additional years of data which could lead to the discovery of even more ancient celestial objects. Are we, perhaps, peering into a different universe? Up until now, our exploration has been grounded in the principles of classical experimental physics. However, when we venture into the realm of quantum physics or consider theoretical frameworks that entertain more audacious concepts, we encounter compelling alternative explanations for recent observations. Within the domain of quantum physics, it becomes plausible that galaxies like GZ11 may not be confined to our universe. They could instead be part of a separate universe that either commences beyond the boundaries of our familiar cosmos or partially coexists with it. Put simply, this suggests that we might encounter a frontier, perhaps marked by disparities in the laws of physics where our ability to comprehend reaches its limits. In such a scenario, we must acknowledge the existence of another universe. This alternative universe might have originated from a distinct Big Bang event, unfolding at a wholly different moment in time. There are also theories proposing that the Big Bang responsible for our universe's creation simultaneously triggered the expansion of numerous other universes, each evolving in disparate directions. The concept of a pocket universe theory posits that within a single universe, Different regions may evolve partly in parallel while exhibiting marked differences from one another. In the context of a multiverse, we would need to explore references to other dimensions, spaces, or universes. It's possible that this scenario aligns with our present understanding. Stay tuned for more enlightening content by subscribing to the channel. Many exciting videos are on the horizon. See you!